Here we have 3 times negative 5 plus 7. We do the multiplication before we do the addition. So 3 times negative 5 gives me a negative 15, and then I also have the plus 7. Negative 15 plus 7 gives me a negative 8. Here I have negative 5 squared plus 3 times 5. Well, I have to do the addition here last. I'm going to be doing the 3 times 5 and this, negative 5 squared, and then those two things get added together. So let's do the negative 5 squared. We do the exponent first and then the negative sign. So the 5 squared there is 25, and then the negative sign gives us a negative 25. And then we have our plus sign, and it's plus this, the 3 times 5, which I'll write as 15. So we have negative 25 plus 15, and that comes out to negative 10. Here, negative 3 minus 7 squared. Well, the parentheses say we have to do the 3 minus 7 before we square it. So let's just write this again, but carry out this operation first. So we'll keep this negative sign right here. And then in parentheses, we have 3 minus 7, which is negative 4. And that thing in parentheses is squared. Now, we do this squaring before we put this negative sign on. So negative 4 squared is a positive 16. And then we have that negative sign stuck on there. So we end up with negative 16 as our answer. Here, negative 3 times negative 4 minus 5. Again, we do what's in parentheses first. So let's keep the negative 3. Then I'm going to write my parentheses and carry out this operation inside. Negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. So I end up with negative 3 times negative 9, and that's what I have written there. So that's two negative numbers multiplied together. That will give me a positive answer, and 9 times 3 is 27, so my result is a positive 27. And here, in this last one, I have negative 6 times negative 2 minus 15. Well, I do this multiplication before I subtract the 15. So let's take this and rewrite it over here, but we'll carry out this multiplication as, as we write this next step. So negative 6 times negative 2. That's going to be a positive 12, because we have two negative numbers multiplied together. So this part right here is a positive 12 minus 15. and 12 minus 15 is negative 3. In this example, negative 8 plus 2 times negative 4, we do the 2 times negative 4 first because multiplication comes before addition and subtraction. So I'll just rewrite this, negative 8 plus, but when I get to this part, I'll do the multiplication. 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. So I have negative 8 plus negative 8. And that gives me negative 16 for my answer. Down here I have 9 minus this, negative 6 times negative 2. And since those two numbers are multiplied together, I do that before I do the subtraction. So let's rewrite the problem, 9 minus, but when, when we get to this multiplication, let's do it negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. So I have 9 minus 12, and that gives me negative 3.